Hi, let me show you how to use chat GPT instead of Siri on iPhone. So firstly, let's start with installing this app. And for that, we need to go in App Store, tap on search bar and input chat GPT. Now find the app and install it by tapping get button or this cloud if you install this app before. Once installed, we can immediately open it, tap continue, and here you need to sign up using Apple, Google, or login if you already have an account. So I'm going to tap continue with Google, choose my account here, tap continue. Here we need to enter a birthday date, so let's try this out. I'm going to enter my birthday, tap confirm, tap continue. And now just wait a few seconds. Great. So after that, we need to set it instead of Siri. So for that, we are going to open shortcuts app, which is installed here by default. But if not, you can just go in App Store again and install this app from there. So in shortcuts, make sure to click on plus in the upper right corner and search for the action chat GPT. And from here, select start conversation with chat GPT. Now tap done and we just created this shortcut. So to use it, we need to go in settings, find accessibility. Then in the list, we need to go in touch, scroll all the way down and choose back tap. Now we have two options, triple tap back part of your phone or double tap for chat GPT. I'm going to use double tap and here we just need to scroll through the list so we can see shortcuts category and select our created shortcuts start conversation with chat gpt and now let's try this out so we need to double tap back part of the phone to start conversation with chat gpt so sometimes it can lag and yep here it is now we can use ChatGPT just with the help of double tapping back part of the phone and with this way you can use it instead of Siri. So that's it for today. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and comment. And I wish you all the best. Bye bye.